Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I love Fridays. I love all the days, but I love Fridays because Saturday I get to sleep in a little bit. It's my favorite. And I have like, we, I do my meetings and stuff on Saturdays. So I get to connect with my girls. We get to, I usually do makeovers on Saturdays. So it's my favorite day. So I love Fridays because Saturdays are so much dang fun. Hi, good morning. Are we going to do a latte look today? And the thing about this latte look is it's been trending for a while. And it's really good because it is a, such a gorgeous look that anybody can wear. I'm going to show it to you in its purest sense. And then I'm going to show you like how to tweak it so that it's going to be even better for your season. If you're a summer, winter, autumn, uh, spring. So anybody can wear it, just so you know. And I'll show you some tweaks. But the eyes, we always start with our eye makeup first. You know that. Well, first of all, i got to put my brows on. You know, I have tattooed brows now. Do you know that? You know, I tell everybody. Okay, if you have microbladed or tattooed brows on, I want you to go get this brow tint. Because I, my brows are naturally lighter than my tattoo because my eyebrows are just really light. And then the gray starts coming in a little bit. Look at that, like, and it makes the texture really pop on there. So you want, because if there's fibers in there and color and brow gel, I would highly recommend everybody get this product, but especially those of you who've got uh, a little manufacture going on, this helps a lot making them look just even more natural. Hi, Shelly. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's play. I've got my eye primer on or my concealer for my eye primer. And now here is the eye look. And so this latte look you're going to find is a very, the whole thing is very monochromatic. We're going to tweak, of course, but it's all browns and golds and bronzes. And we're all, we're going to stay in that entire color wheel. Good morning, Lori. So the eyes, we're going to keep it brown, but we're going to keep it pretty browns. Like we're, you know, pretty. So for my summer palette, I'm going to go summer, or summer, <laughs> blossom, hazelnut, uh, yeah, Blossom, Hazelnut, Burnish Bronze, and Espresso. If you are winter, keep it the same thing. If you are more warm, so you're a spring or an autumn, I would tweak this one to Biscotti, and I would tweak the Burnish Bronze to Rustic. So just two little tweaks, and they're actually not entirely necessary. They're very subtle differences, but if you want to. Okay, so let's. we're going to go with our light color first. So our Blossom. This color is going to go slightly underneath the eyebrow and we're going to blend down to the crease area and we're using the all over eye color brush. This is the one that I use the majority of the time. It, it's just the best blender and you know I like uh, makeup that is smudgy and soft and muted and it all just kind of blends together. That This brush is how you accomplish that. Okay. And then let's talk about the brow bone again. No shimmer. I don't care what season you are. I don't care how old you are. I don't care your eye shape. Stop it. Please, please. It's not cool because what it does is it highlights that area. Especially you'll notice it in pictures. If you notice pictures of yourself, if you wear shimmer up there or if your color is too light up there, then that's kind of all you see is it really does its job and it highlights that area. Well, if you highlight this area, what do you not see? Your eyeballs. So what we want to do, so as you see this transformation of me getting ready with you guys this morning, you like my eyes are okay. Like you can sort of see them. I mean, they're eyeballs, they're normal, right? Watch at the end how much more you see my eyes because I'm gonna start pulling the, the attraction away from my brow bone. There, it's a science, it's an art, it's a both. So, okay, now this doesn't hold color, so just brush it out on your pajama pants or your makeup mat or whatever you got. And then we're gonna go to hazelnut. Now this color, we wanna make sure that you can see this color when your eyes are open. We do not want this sitting low. And that's another mistake I see a lot of people make is that their color is down here and then they open their eyes and they, do, they don't see it. And once again, this becomes overly prominent. We don't want that. So you got to move that matte mid-tone up a little bit. Good morning, Sharon. 
So we're just moving that color up right on top of that brow bone, that little muffin top of your eye. And now, see, now look at the difference. It's very subtle, but now this is starting to pull back into my head and my eye is starting to come forward, just optically. Huh, pun intended. So that is why we keep those colors. Like It's not just about throwing on your makeup. Of course you can, you know me. I've done enough five product looks that you're, you know that I can throw on some makeup with the best of them. But if you really want your colors to mean something, it does matter the shimmer that you pick, the matte that you pick, where you put it, the placement. There is definitely something to it. Now the cool thing is once you get it, you get it. And you don't have to tweak it. You don't have to change it. Your eye shape is probably not going to change. It might get a little bit more creepy, but that's all. You're just going to keep it more matte when that happens. See the difference already. And also you're now starting to see, okay, her eyes are blue. Okay. Because I'm putting a contrast color against that light color. Okay. Now I am going to switch brushes here for a second. Well, yes, I am. I'm going to do, I love this brush. I call it the Domi brush. I think it's technical name is eye smudger. I like Domi. So with this burnished bronze, or if you're warm with your rustic, I'm going to keep this to the outer half to three quarters. I'm going to go right on my lash line to start and then I'm going to blend over, maybe get up closer so you can really see this, right in that crease area. So I'm going to go all the way up to the crease, starting at the lashes. And pulling up and I love this color there's a little bit of shimmer in it which is okay because we're keeping it low which is where if you're gonna wear shimmer you want to keep it low I'm not anti-shimmer sort of sort of anti-shimmer sort of anti-shimmer you should have heard me teach these classes so I've been in Mary Kay 20 years you should have heard me teach them 15 years ago when I was still in my 20s, um, how quickly the tides have changed. I was like, okay, like over 30s, you can't use shimmer. And then I, you know, got to be 30 and I was like, well, you know, like over 40s, you can't use shimmer. And then I got to 40s and I was like, no more shimmer for anybody. It stops being funny. <laughs> so if I can't wear it, you can't either. Now, remember my work with the seasons and really showing you what is appropriate within your season. So generally speaking, autumns, you like this is this is your look. This is your oops. Oh gosh, I just dumped my brush on the floor. This is your look. This is this J Lo bronzy latte look is definitely meant for sorry, an autumn. Um, it's also really good for summers because they're both that muted look now winters you guys browns you not absolutely your very best but we're going to pop it at the end but you guys can get away with more shimmer on there so if you want to add um you don't want to add gold status because that's against your color palette but you can come through there and add rose gold that would be super pretty on you so autumns you can have a little bit of shimmer just a little bit winters you can have shimmer springs you can but just light like keep it keep it light like um gold status a candlelight things like that okay so now um shimmer is a state of mind i love it so i'm just blending if you saw me i just took my other blending brush back out because i use it all the time and just blended it up just a little bit now i'm going to get my eyeliner brush and i'm going to take my espresso and i am going to make brown eyeliner with it I'm going to expand its roll just a little bit, but that's how I'm going to start. So about three quarters of the way over, right in that lash line. I'm going to see something that I learned from Robert Jones, makeup artist, a long time ago. Um, it's a really cool way to define your lashes without adding bulk to it. If you come underneath it, not in your waterline, but in the base of your lashes, it really provides definition with, without the bulk. It's really a cool, cool trick. 
a little interesting to do in a phone camera, but you know, but you know. Okay, so I'm right in there, I'm skinny with it, three quarters of the way, really defining that lash line without using my eyeliner. And I'm keeping it brown. So everybody but Winters, guys, can't use black eyeliner. You gotta use brown, blue, gray, something like that. But here's the thing, when you use powder as your eyeliner, the world is your oyster. The color palette opens up tremendously. Um, be careful, Jill, don't, don't stab yourself. Um, but your color palette opens tremendously when you use the powder as your eyeliner. Makes a big difference. Um, once you start doing it, I promise you're just not even gonna go back to using a basic eyeliner. Even though I love our waterproof eyeliners. They are so good. I will occasionally run a color just slightly and then put the powder on top but that's the only time I will never wear eyeliner by itself oh gosh oh gosh no those hard lines new way okay so I just added to that with that espresso and just extended out through here just giving me a little bit more definition I'm gonna go lower on my lower I like under here with lower eyeliner, but I'm going to go back to the burnished bronze. I'm going to go right in the outer half, right in the lashes. Don't put it in the waterline. All my little ophthalmologist friends just got really excited when I said that because they tell me about these stories of people coming in and they're damaging their eyes because they're just for the sake of putting makeup on your waterline, which makes your eyes look smaller. Like, don't do it. There's no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Okay, now let's clean up. This is why we do our eye makeup first. This trick never ceases to amaze people because so many of us were taught to do our foundation first when you have nowhere to go. You can't clean up because you're gonna move your concealer and your foundation or you don't even know you're supposed to clean up and you're walking around with all that powder sitting in already the darkest place of your spot of your face and it just makes your eye under eye circles look even worse because all that powder is sitting right there or if it's shimmer it sits in your lines and wrinkles and makes you look older like I mean no redeeming quality so do your eye makeup first now so I clean that up I'm gonna put a little bit of my Time Wise eye cream on here. This stuff is so good. It's like a little Instagram filter. And if you if you have a problem with your eyeliner or your mascara pulling, like you get dots under here or it starts smudging, it's probably because your uh, eye cream is too thick. Um, our Eye Renewal eye cream. It's amazing, right? I use this every single night. What actually has oil in it? So if you're in, if you're not super dry, it's too much for you during the day if you're wearing makeup. It'll pull from that. So I switch to this in the daytime because I love the little filter attached to it and then this for nighttime. It's the perfect combination. Okay, number one makeup artist trick, curl those lashes. Pulling out, I'm doing it multiple times. I start at the base, pull out a little bit. So you want that natural flow. You don't want a crimped look. So think curling iron, not crimper. Okay, and then I'll go Fanorama today. I want a light, fluttery, PC, gentle look. I love this mascara. This is my favorite. I love lash intensity too. But sometimes it's just heavy for me if I'm wearing mascara all day. My eyes are very sensitive. And it just doesn't like a lot of makeup on them all the time. Especially mascara. So this is my favorite for that fluttery light feel. So it, I don't drive myself crazy because I will drive myself absolutely crazy. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I know, Allison, isn't that the best tip on the eye cream? 
yeah, it's good. Okay, so let's, now we're gonna do our face. So I've got my CC cream, one pump, moisturizer, sunscreen, foundation, concealer, and primer in one step. Could it be any better? Oh, okay, you know, I don't love, I mean, I guess I don't mind it. I don't like talking bad about other brands. I really don't. Like, I'll be sarcastic and snarky sometimes, but really, like, to each their own. Do, do you? But <laughs> I've had one product come into my studio twice in the last couple of weeks and with people going, okay, um, tell me if you have a product like this. And um, Courtney, no, I'm not for CC cream, I don't. It gunks up my brush. And this is a moisturizer, essentially. So I put it on like a moisturizer and not like a foundation. Okay, so two times in the last couple of weeks, two people have come over to my house and said they've laid this specific product on my studio and said, do you have something that's like this? And it is, um, it cosmetic, it CC cream, okay, is the brand. And I'm like, the first time, I'm like, well, I mean, I know that our CC cream is going to be comparable to that, but can I, like, let's just try it. Like, just, let's just try it. So we took the back of her hand. Well, first I did it on mine because I wanted to see, and then we did it on hers. A dot of the It CC cream, a dot of our CC cream, and just rubbed them in. Just rubbed them in. And both people, both people were like, oh, I'm not using that. And I'm like, I know, right? I did not know what it was going to do. It is a very, very, very popular CC cream. It is thick. It is cakey. It is, there's like this manufactured dew. It looks slimy. It, I mean, it is bizarre. I would not have thought that if I hadn't seen the two together. If you're looking for a new CC cream, Please try this. You will be shocked, especially if you use something like that that is heavy and thick. That's not what a CC cream is supposed to be. CC cream, you're not even supposed to know you have it on. Like that's not, it's just supposed to give you a glow protection, um, some coverage, some primer. It should not look plasticky. That is what it looked like, was plasticky. So yeah, I'm just gonna save you. But try that experiment sometime. I was uh, I was a little shocked because that product is so popular and I hear it so much. I just expected it to be better. I expected it to be very comparable to ours. Like, oh, okay, I can see where. No, it wasn't even close. So I know I just said I wasn't gonna talk about it to anybody, but it was not good and much more expensive than ours. So once again, no redeeming qualities. Okay, so. My eyes, do you see how much they've pulled blue? Do you see how now you see my actual eyeballs versus seeing all of that coming through? That's all about the eyeshadow. But now I have a lot of people that come over and say, okay, will you teach me how to do eyes? Sure, I want my eyes to pop, great. I will teach you that. But then also foundation makes your eyes pop. Watch what happens when I full on even out my skin tone. Watch what happens to my eyeballs. So this is my TimeWise Anti-Aging Matte Foundation. It's my favorite. The way it sits on your skin, the way that it wears, the way, I mean, it is a skin foundation. It is an anti-aging skin foundation. If you're gonna wear something all day long, I want it to be pretty. I don't want it to be thick. I don't want it to be cakey. I don't want it to separate on me I want it to cover beautifully, but I don't want to look manufactured. It is just not my jam. Because you see these people like in photo shoots and stuff and they're using those crazy foundations and then I'm like, but what do you look like in person? That is an entirely different thing. I would like to look good in both, please. Okay, so I do use a brush for the foundation if you notice that. I just use the liquid foundation brush. I do have a couple of ones. The one that um, I say looks like a kitty and a toothbrush had a baby. Where is that one? It's in my vanity somewhere. It's in there somewhere. But that one's good if you want like a heavier coverage. That is a, a great brush for that. It's called, what is that thing called? Cause this one's called liquid foundation brush. 
Hmm. Oh, there it is. See, kitten and a toothbrush had a baby. Um, it is called blending, the blending brush. And it's so soft right through there. It is nice. Or you can use a sponge. So any of those are perfectly wonderful for, thank you guys, blending brush. Appreciate it. I had to go digging through my vanity, which looks like a bomb went off in it. Anybody else? Okay, so under eye corrector, we're going to hit two places where the blue, purple are the most prominent. And then I'm going to take my concealer, which is just a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I'm going to pop them right there, right through here, right through here. That's your concealer. I can get away with my skin tone just doing it in under eye corrector. Uh, but most people need a concealer. I just happen to be that mid beige that can do that. Now we're just going to blend. And look what happens. This is the most fun. This is my most fun trick. Ready? Do you see what that does? And I'm going to pull this down all the way through my cheekbones, up the center of my nose, so we're just highlighting. Popping that upper lip. Look at that side of my face. It just went whoop. It's the best tip. The eye lift, the taking under eye corrector, mixing it with concealer, or straight under eye corrector together, and highlighting Isn't that cool? I mean, I mean, I mean, look at that. Isn't that great? And do you see my eyes? Like now we can see my eyes. Now they're starting to pop. Now I'm gonna set my makeup. I'm gonna do a little bit, you know I'm loving this thing where I take a little bit of my setting powder in light to medium beige, and then I mix it with my translucent powder and then I'm gonna press this into my skin. So it's gonna give me the glow that translucent powder has. It's gonna absorb my oil. It's gonna set my makeup. It's also gonna give me just a little bit of an extra tint. So you can put this straight up on your skin. You can put it on top of CC cream. You can put it you know, on top of everything like I did here today. Okay, now let's really get into these seasons. Where do we need to make some tweaks to really make our specific skin tone pop? So for my summers, me, me, you, summers here, Desert Rose is going to be where we are. Um, if you are a winter, I think Honey Glow is going to be really beautiful for you. Yes. Um, Maybe a little bit of wineberry also. You can kind of mix those two together. Springs, I think Juicy Peach going to be tremendous for you. And then Autumns, you know, you can go Juicy Peach. You actually get contour, so you could go Latte, the Latte Contour with a little bit of Juicy Be Peach or Honey Glow. That would be super beautiful um, because you get, you're the only season that gets contour and bronzer. Now, I always say I hate winters. I don't really love Autumns either because you get that fun stuff. So find your color. I'm gonna pick my Desert Rose. I'm gonna keep them high. Cause I'm gonna pick this, it's a kind of a brownie based, reddish, pinkish color. It is by far one of my favorite cheek colors on me. And it makes a great eye color. I love taking my eye color or my cheek colors and making them eye colors. I know, Jill, but I just, I have so many questions for God. Why, why did you make me a summer and take away all my fun in makeup? Why do animals have to die? Why did you make ticks? Questions, lots of questions, lots and lots of questions, okay? So right here in that temple, high up on your cheeks, big. That's what we're wanting from cheek color. Cheek color is really hot right now, which I'm excited because I do love me some good cheek color. 
Um, those of you who are asking about finding your seasons, there's apps out there, there's professionals out there, there's um, like if you, you can find in-person people to do it. So it is, um, it is a, it's, not, it's not a simple thing to find your color, that is for sure. So start Googling, start researching. Um, there are several of us Mary Kay girls that um, have been doing it in person. There's some virtual people. So there's some people out there. Okay, now lips. The lips is where we're really going to take this very customized for our seasons. So for me, I'm going to use Beige Nude Lip Liner. I'm going to use Mauve Crush um, the New Lipstick. And then I'm going to use Beach Bronze Gloss. So what we're wanting is kind of a brown lip. You know how I feel about brown lips? No. But the latte look is very monochromatic. So we're going to keep it brown, but we're going to lift it just a little bit to where it's flattering for us. So springs, I think you guys would be beautiful either with beige nude or what else is something light? Um, rose, I think would be gorgeous. Yeah, one, a pink nude would probably be really pretty. And then um, something like casual rose on top of it where it's brownish coral is going to be really pretty. And then pop it with like a beach bronze or a sheer illusions or fancy Nancy, any of those. Because you guys get lots of shimmer and brightness, especially through your lips. And then autumn's um, tawny nude, um, auburn nude, any of those lip liners with um, boho plum or um, hushed blush that's going to be really beautiful and then like copper aura over the top love it um, and then um, your winters this one you guys if you're especially if you're like a deep winter or a true winter something like berry lip liner with the new um, black cherry lip hydrating lipstick like really pop it and make it dark or you could do like if you're a light winter you could do sheer illusions and um soft pink lip liner like uh you don't want a nude lip for a winter but you could do something um, you could do mauve crush that actually would be really pretty because it would kind of temper that um that the coolness but it's not yeah so i would do that um, okay, for a winter with a hint of warm autumn, those are hard, um, but you're probably, that dip, that black cherry would probably be really pretty on you, or boho plum, excellent on you. Boho plum is a little warm, Jill. It doesn't look great on everybody, but a lot of people. It's just a, just a touch warm, but you can manipulate it with your lip liners and your lip gloss. So if you get good at this, there's not a lot of things that are off limits because of what you can do with the other two lip products. Okay, color in. I did see that like dark lip liner is gonna come back into a trend right now. Don't, don't, don't. If I see your lip liner line, you're doing and you just killed all the prettiness about your lips because now it looks like somebody took a marker. No, it doesn't make your lips look big. It doesn't make you look pretty. Just stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, anyway. Um, berry lip liner with apple berry, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, Mauve Crush. Mm -mm -mm. And I love these hydrating lipsticks because I love my lips to be silky and they just go on like a lip balm. I really, really like them. And then a little beach bronze over the top. So I've still kept the, the spirit of the latte look, but I've made it wearable for me. And that's what you wanna do with every trend. If you wanna, if you wanna pick something and then go, okay, how do I tweak it a little bit? So if you need more lift, if you need more brightness, Stick with me. That's what we're going to do. We're going to dig into all these fun trends. We're going to keep talking about seasons all the time. So you better go figure out what season you are. So that when you follow along, you're like, yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. Because it is subtle. It is nuanced. And it does completely change everything. So thanks for joining me on my latte look and get ready with me. And I will see you guys next time. If you have any suggestions for me on what trend you do want to see, comment it in here. I would love to hear from you. And uh, my goal is to serve. So 
Tell me what to do. I'm in. I can't wait. Happy Friday. Go Chiefs.